This is digital scrapbooking using Zero Extreme 4.0. Today I'm going to teach you how to create your paper workspace. And we're going to start by going up to File. And click on that. Once you've done that, scroll down to Page Options. Go ahead and click on that. Once you've done that, go to Paper Size, click on Custom, change your width. I'm going to do an 8 by 10 paper, so I'm going to do 8 inches by 10 inches, and that's what it should look like. And then in the left hand corner, go ahead and press OK. And once you've done that, we'll want to see our total workspace. So go up to the set zoom factor, which is the 100%. And you're going to click on that and scroll down to page. and click on that. And there you go, you see your total workspace then. Uh, this is just that, it's just a workspace. If you were to try to save this, it would not be able to be used as an image. This is just to give us guidelines as to how big to make our, our paper for layering and stacking and making our layouts for the scrapbook page. So right now I'm going to teach you how to go and um, import in a paper from a digital scrapbooking kit. Today I'm going to use um, a kit by the Shabby Princess called Wonderful. and You can find that on her website called theshabbyshop.com. I'm going to start by picking this blue paper and dragging it down over my Zara tab just like that and Zara will pop up and then oh, I gotta bring it again doesn't let me zoom and do it all so wait for Zara to pop up bring it in and drop it over into the gray area and there is your paper now we're going to go ahead and release the mouse button and press delete go back up to your zoom factor and go to page and now we're going to click on a button that's called the bitmap gallery is this little sunset button and once you've clicked on that there's your paper the bitmap gallery will open on the side and we just want to make sure we have all of our images drop directly in there and anything you drag and drop into Zara will end up in your bitmap gallery if it's an image. Um, from there we're going to uh, create our actual space on our work table by clicking on the rectangle tool which is right there. And Once we've done that we're given oh, we can't see it that way. We're given a little a little rectangle and a plus sign and you're going to click on your left mouse button and keep that held down as you drag it across your paper and we're going to let it cover, I should say our workspace, we're going to let it cover our entire workspace and once it's to the opposite corner go ahead and release and that is what we're going to use to fill with our, our imported paper. Go ahead and go to, let me close this Go ahead and go to um, your select tool, which is the white arrow. Once you have your select tool, click on your paper in your bitmap gallery, and then go up to fill. And you're going to click on fill. And there you go, there's your paper in the workspace. The last thing that we're going to do is take off the outline, if you look closely, there's a black outline around your paper and we don't want that. So we're going to go down to this crosshatched button which is the set no color button. If 
you look at crisscross button and you're going to click on that actually right click with your mouse and you're going to click on clear line and there it is your line is gone and you're going to do that with everything unless you want a line on it and we'll get to that at a later point point. and that is the end of tutorial one